Ling from Sunny Devon. We have got a lot of candles to do test burns on. We've got all the ones we made the other day without the fragrance oil and the ones we made about three weeks ago, possibly four now, with fragrance oil. So I have decided to burn a huge chunk of them. So I'm going to dot them around the house and we are going to burn them and we're going to see if and amongst all those candles, we've got a perfect one. By this stage in the game, I'm not too optimistic, but we don't know until we've done it, right? So let's get this show on the road. Let's get these candles burning and let's see exactly what we've got. So these are all the baseline candles and the ones at the end, those four, and there's two on the shelf below are the ones with the fragrance oil. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick some at random and start placing them around the house. So I'm breaking them down. It's nine o'clock. Well, not quite. We're going to hopefully get this going for nine o'clock and we've got a lot to do. So I'm here all day. I am going to do a batch test for four hours, burn test rather, and then do another one. The first burn test is going to have two made with the mandarin and sandalwood from the other day. One has got an LX18 and one has got a VRL18 wick in it. The other five are our baseline candles. We've got, let's have a look, the Just Cocoa Wax with an Eco12. We have got predominantly cocoa wax with mixed with the soy blend, VRL18 and an Eco12. And we've got two with the predominant soy wax blend and cocoa wax. And in that, there is an Eco 12 and a CD 10. Now, the soy, predominantly soy blend, has given quite nice tops look. The predominantly coconut wax blend, they've both, I don't know if you can see, they've just pulled away from the edges slightly, both of them. Interesting. The just cocoa wax has also, I don't know if you can see, just pulled away from the edge interesting it's obviously a coconut wax thing and our soy mandarin and sandalwood fragrance ones from the other week are fine so that's what we noticed to begin with i'm now going to create a five millimeter piece of paper that i'm going to cut to size because i'm going to get the wick right today so that's there in fact, it's probably better, probably better if I had a pen. Right, if I cut it to there, that is a bang on 15 there. Uh, not 15, bang on five, that's bang on five. Move it over. Make sure the line is matched up. That is bang on five. So. I've got a little piece of paper that is five millimetres in height and I'm going to place it on each candle and cut my wick to the right size, which is a little bit fiddly, I will say. That is already longer than most of the ones I have tested thus far. <laughs> To be fair, I thought the wick trimmer that I used was such that you just laid it on top of your candle wax and cut. But that's clearly not the case. I think the ideal wick length is between five and six millimetres. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Right, that's those all cut to five millimetres. So, hopefully that is not too short. And we're spot on this time. But yes, if I've got that wrong, do tell me. We need these wicks to be right for sure. Now, let's get lighting them. So, I am going to place one back on the shelf where I got it from. I'm going to place one just here on my worktop. I 
I'm going to place one here. Place one here. This is one with the fragrance oil. So I've put this in a room away from where I shall be working. So when I come down, hopefully the smell will be nice and strong. I'm going to place this one here. This is going to be in the room I'm working in. So that's that one gone. And then the last one for this morning's test is here, which is also in the room I'm working in today. So just to say, it's now nine o'clock, so I've lit them just before nine o'clock, but we'll, we'll go from nine. The temperature downstairs in the house is currently 18 degrees, according to my room thermometer thing. And the temperature upstairs is 19 degrees. Right, let's have a quick check in now and see how they're all burning. And I'm going to go and get on with some work, but I will report back at hourly intervals so we can see how these candles are going. And of course, I would also be checking in on them more frequently than that, just to be safe, because I've got candles dotted around and I'm not going to be working by all of them all the time to be keeping a regular eye check every other minute. So I do promise I will be running downstairs to check on them frequently just to make sure there's no disasters about to happen because nobody wants that in our candle burn test. So quick check and then I will see you again in an hour. There we go. This is this candle. It's got an Eco 12 in it and the wick is a little bit flayed, frayed there but I think that's from where I cut it. But, you know, not too bad. Little melt pool forming. It's about, I don't know, I'm a bit rubbish at this. Would that be about an inch? The annoying thing about this ruler is that, I mean, who designs a ruler like this? Look, there's gaps. I mean, just bring the measurement to the very edge. That would make things a lot easier. But I would say... Well, I can't say because that's just ridiculous. I'd say that's about two centimetres, that height, maybe just under. So I think that's all right. This one, so another Eco 12, flame size, a little bit smaller than the other one we just looked at. Then we have this one, a blend. The wick has cut down the middle. Again, could be from where I cut it, but flame size good little possibility of a bit of tiny dancing there so interesting to see how that one's gonna go then we have this one and again nice steady flame decent height very similar size melt pool then we have this one. Oh, i just breathed over it so that's why it suddenly started moving a smaller flame but similar size melt pool is this a smelly? No smell. No smell at all yet. But that might change. However, all good. I wonder if that one might tunnel. And we have this one here. Another smelly one. No smell so far. And there's the flame. Similar size melt pool. Similar size flame. All looking Ooh, good. Uh, Last but not least this one and again very similar they're all gone uh they're all lit and burning away quite happily at the moment be interesting to see how they carry on through the next four hours so i shall report back at 10 o'clock and all being well everything will still be behaving perfect well that's not going to happen is it because they're not all going to end up being perfect we're going to have some little failures today and we don't mind that because then we can start ruling our wicks out. So we're definitely going to have some that aren't working, but we might be lucky today. I got a feeling, just got a feeling. The sky's blue, the sun's shining, there's no wind. It started off a perfect day today. Let's find a little bit of optimism. Let's, let's believe we're going to achieve. Ooh, there's a saying there believe you're going to achieve should make a hoodie with that on it anyway i'll report back at 10 because i'm waffling so see you again in a little bit it's 10 o'clock <clears throat>
it's 10 o'clock. One hour is now up. So let's see how our candles are performing. First up, we'll do the two in the room I'm working in, and then we will go downstairs and see how the other five, is it, are doing. So here we go. Flame is rather large. So I have actually got a different ruler and I've snipped the end off to make sure it's bang on. So that flame is, well, it's over two centimetres. So mm, I think we're already saying that that flame is a little on the large side. But we'll keep it going. It's right next to me. So we're in safe hands there and just see how it goes. So that's number one. Here we have the second candle in the room I'm working in. I'm talking, so it's moving, but we have sweating on this one. The flame height is approximately two centimeters. Melt pool. But yes, definite sweating here. I don't think there was sweating on the other one, I should check. Yes, a little bit of sweating. Hang on, this is a baseline, so there's no fragrance oil in there, so interesting. Is that just because the temperature of the room or something? What's that about then? Are you supposed to get sweating if there's no fragrance oil in it? Answers on a postcard, please. Right, this is another one with the fragrance in it and more sweating. Milk pool's not bad. Milk pool's measuring about four, well, three and a half centimetres. I'd say the flame's about a centimetre. That's that one. Here's another baseline one. I'm going to stop talking because that's wafting. I don't know if it's my breath. I think that's moving quite a bit and the flame is quite large. Just over two centimetres. So, hmm, what is that? CD10. Okay, we'll see how that continues to go. This is a baseline. For the sweating, it's, it's got to be the temperature, hasn't it, of the room? Because there's no fragrance oil in here. I'd say that's quite steady. Flame height is about one and a half centimetres. So we have two left and I can see the flame size of this other one from here. <laughs> Look at the size of that flame. I think we might just blow that one out immediately. That is the Eco 12. <gasps> the one I'm having faith in. That is about three centimetres high. So I'm thinking, oh, and actually, we've got a little bit of a sinkhole forming down there, which may be impacting on that flame, I suppose, because there's quite a lot of fuel going up there. But yes, I'm going to blow that out just to be on the safe side, because obviously I'm working upstairs. And lastly, we have this one, which is also an Eco 12. And look at that. Also a very large flame. I think I might have to blow that one out as well. This is a blend, coconut, uh, predominantly soy blend. So this is interesting though, this sweating here, because I had sweating in some candles the last time and I put it down to the fragrance oil, but this doesn't have any fragrance oil in it. So is it just the temperature of the room? Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna blow it out. So we have two down. So there we are, we are an hour in and we are two candles down, five remaining. So interesting. Interesting that the Eco 12 in the soy blend and also just the coconut wax. So whether that's just Eco 
Eco Series isn't good with coconut wax, even though the other one was predominantly more soy. But interesting anyway, both the Eco 12s, sadly, are down and out. But we still have five going and we also have all the ones we're going to do this afternoon. So we're still in the game. It's already 11 o'clock. So let's go and see how the candles are now performing. See if we lose any more. Here's the first one that I'm sitting next to. And look, the flame is now humongous. Wafting all over the place. This is another Eco 12, very interesting. I don't believe Eco 12 like coconut wax. That is my deduction for today. So I'm gonna blow this one out. <laughs> we are three down. Here's the next one, VRL 18. I think it may be tunneling slightly. Flame's all right for size. The wick is curling, melt pool not too bad at all. Two hours, so yeah, interesting to see how it'll be in another two hours. I think it's gonna tunnel, but we will see. All right, this is another one with fragrance oil within. It's an LX18, mushrooming occurring. Don't know if I could show you that. There, look. Helpful's similar size to the one upstairs. But yeah, mushrooms, both sides of the wick. So, interesting. We'll see what that's like in another hour. Here's another baseline candle, predominantly soy with the CD10. Smaller melt pool, although quite a deep melt pool. So again, I think this is tunneling. Flame size is not too bad. The wick has curled. No mushrooming yet though. Another baseline candle, which is with a VRL18. little bit of dancing, wick curling, milk pool. Don't know if that's going to start tunneling as well, but we shall see. <laughs> so yes, we are reduced to four candles left. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in another hour, because I think three of them are potentially tunneling. But anyway, we've got more candles to burn after this burn test, so all is not lost. I shall report back in an hour when we will be at the three hour mark. So see you again soon. So here we are and it's tunneling. So, you know, not the best. Not good. This is LX18 with the fragrance oil. I mean, admittedly, the melt pool's not bad, but flame not so lovely looking. A couple of big mushrooms there. So a little bit disappointing. And baseline candle CD10. We got another tunneler. It's tunneling. Over here with our Cocoa Soy Blend VRL18. Let's have a look. We got a tunneler. We know the Eco 12, well, we don't know, but it seems the Eco 12 does not like a candle that contains any form of coconut wax in it. So we've ruled that out. We know this. We know this about the Eco. 12. <laughs> Whether it's the, true of the whole range, I'm yet to discover. Um, the VRL didn't look too bad. We know the LX doesn't seem to like its position in that candle. That's mushroom nicely. I am going to get some more candles going because why not? We've got ones that we've blown out that we cannot use. Let's replace them with some fresh ones. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what I'm going to do now. Neighbours are cutting the grass. Do you know why? 
because it's a beautiful sunny day out there today. Right, let's get these. I'm going to eyeball these. I roughly saw what five millimetres looked like. I reckon it's about there. So, let's get these three trimmed and we'll go and plug them around the house. What have we got? We've got a baseline soy wax CD10. We've got a baseline soy wax Eco 12. No cocoa wax in this one. And we got another fragrance one with that mandarin sandalwood with a TB16 in it. So I'm going to light these three and let these start testing. See how they get on. Right, there's another baseline. There's the Eco 12. Mandarin and Sandalwood again with the TB16. Let's see how she performs. So we'll place that one there, move that one out the way, and get this one lit. So that is now lit, and that one. Is another fragrance one with the CD10 wick in it. Lovely smooth top. Just soy wax. So there we go. We're at the three hour stage. We've ruled out or well, blown out a few candles there because it's just no point persevering with them. We've got another four just starting their test. And yeah, although it's a little bit disappointing that we're no further forward. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why that's disappointing, because that's literally how things always go. But although it is disappointing, it's also better today because we've got results. I can start ruling out the wicks that haven't worked rather than normally we just have a candle that didn't work and we are none the wiser. Today, I know that wick does not perform with that wax or blend. So I can just simply rule them out. We know it's not the fragrance oil. We know it's the wick. So I can rule them out, try fresh ones and just keep doing this until we finally get there. So disappointing, but not as quite as deflating as it normally is. So all good. Wait till the four hour mark, blow the rest of them out and get some more going. So it's been quite a productive day, really quite chuffed even though I'm sat inside on what is a beautiful day rather than being out in the sun, getting some vitamin D on my face. Hey ho, can't have it all, can we now? We are an hour into the new test burns and at the end of the original test burn. So let's go and check in with our candles. The one right next to me, the CD10 with the mandarin and sandalwood fragrance. Here we are, hour in, more sweat beads, which we get every time we make a candle. That could be the fragrance oil this time. No idea what caused it in the candles that had no fragrance oil. Melt pull all right, flames slow and steady. Not sure if it's a little on the high side though. So we'll keep a close check on that. Here is our other mandarin and sandalwood. Not much of a smell, but I have been sitting in this room the whole time. However, we have a definite tunnel. So at the four hour mark, we need to do this. Unfortunately, no good. And over here, our mandarin and sandalwood. There is a hint of a smell in here. TV 16, I am talking now, so let's just stay still and not breathe. Hmm, quite a tall flame again, if you ask me. Melt pool, 
quite large after an hour. We will see what it looks like at two hours. Over here, another new one. This is the Eco 12 baseline candle. I will stop talking so it stops wafting. Possibly a little bit jiggy. Milk pool much smaller than the one we just looked at. They've both been lit for the same amount of time. So that's that one. This is one of our originals, the VRL18, and we have got a tunnel. So, that one is done. It's a no-go. And then last but not least, we have a CD10 in a baseline candle. Just the soy wax and we got a small tunnel. And a bit of smoking occurring. I do think that smoking was because I did happen to breathe quite heavily over it. I'm going to stop talking a minute. Hmm, can't decide with this one. This is a small little milk pool. I'll stick with it and see what it does. So as I go back up to work upstairs, that is the situation. That is where we are at. Just give it another hour now and see what occurs in that time. Um, yeah, not much, much more I can say at the moment. I'm not convinced we've got any good ones amongst the, amongst the group, but give it another hour, let's see what occurs. Over the two hour mark, about two and a half hours. Got a bit carried away with my work. Anyway, not bad. Well, I don't think it's bad. It's nearly reached full melt for one side, obviously not the other. There's a hint of a smell, but not bad. TB16. I think that was me breathing on it. I'll stop talking in a minute, see if it still dances. Ignore the dancing, it's slightly high, but the milk pool is not bad. Not much of a smell, but this is quite a subtle smell to be fair. Right, I'm going to stop talking. It's a bit of a high flame, isn't it? I don't think that one is a goer, personally. And here we have the Eco 12. No mushrooming, which is great. But look, we have tunneling. Keep it going, but I think there's going to be a no goer. The kitchen. Well, and it's going to tunnel. This is the CD10. Well, I'll let it go. I was going to blow it out then, but I'll let it go. But it's definitely going to tunnel, I'm sure it is. So interesting, what have we got that's looking good? Anything? Let's double check. This one's going to tunnel. Eco 12 looks like it's going to tunnel. So potentially this one is the one that's doing the best. Now, interesting, it's a CD10. And it has a better milk pool on this one with fragrance oil in it than the CD10 has without any fragrance oil in it. Which tells me the fragrance oil is helping this wick burn the candle better. Interesting. But yeah, give it another hour. See how they're doing. And then see if any for any of them qualify for a second test burn tomorrow. Possibly the CD10 here. Not sure about that TB, whatever it was. But we'll see. Haven't ruled them out yet. Four hour mark, CD10, Mandarin and Sandalwood. And to be honest, it's not bad. It hasn't reached the full melt pool to, to the right side, but definitely worth a second burn tomorrow, I think. I'm going to persevere with it. Optimism on this one is resumed. Let's blow it out now. Right, the TB16. Well, I'm still not sure about that flame height, but 
it's also not done too bad a job. So that could also be worth. And the glass is warm, well, it's, it's, you know, it's getting on the warm, hotter of the warm side then. I can hold that quite happily. But not too disastrous. I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to become too hot looking at it. The fragrance is a little bit big for my liking. But anyway, blow it out. And the Eco 12 in the baseline candle. Well, it hasn't tunneled as much as I thought it would. It's almost reached that side of the melt pool. Again, it's curled a little bit, curled over. Flame. Possibly a bit too large. But I think I might give that a second burn tomorrow. It's dancing around because I'm talking over it. But it could be worth a second burn. Yeah, still all right to the touch. Hmm, interesting. And as for our happy dancing CD10 over here with the baseline candle, no. That is a tunnel. That is not going to achieve a full melt pool. So let's blow that one out. Hello again. It is a few days later. In fact, it's Friday and it is the 25th of May. So more than a few days later, and I thought I should come back on here and recap on my results. So I've got the candles with me that I burnt and I will show you them all in their unburnt state. I am still persevering with one candle, although it's had three burns now and I think it's actually just going to tunnel. I was banking on the fact that as the, the wick went further down into the vessel, there'd be enough heat there to, to, to encourage the wick to encourage the wax that's left to melt, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But I'm gonna give it a fourth to burn. This is the LX18 in the mandarin and sandalwood combination. So I'm still persevering. In fact, I'm gonna get that lit in a minute, but I will show you the results of all the others. So the only one from that batch from the other day is the LX18 that I am still persevering with, although I don't think it's going to give me the results I need. I do have four left to burn, a baseline CD10, a mandarin and sandalwood with the Eco 12, a baseline just coconut wax with the TB, TCB30 slash 18, and just the CB135 wax with the LX18. So I'm going to burn those for today as well. I'm here for a few hours. I'm just going to get them going. And then at the end of that, that will be all the candles we made the other day and the candles we made two weeks prior to that. So whatever the results are of the last four that I've got left, we will work from there. And then we will, yeah, just draw up our conclusion and decide which wits we're going to try next time. I think I've ruled out the Eco 12 for sure with any form of coconut wax in it. Um, but, you know, I mean, the results, I'll sh give, show you these in a minute so you can see. I'll give you a, a down, downwards glance, a downwards glance at the candles. And, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of tunnelling. I think the only one I could possibly work with was, well, the, I think the CD10 did the best. But that had fragrance oil in it, so that wasn't one of our actual baselines. But yeah, the rest are all a little bit disappointed. A lot of tunnelling. That's what I will say. A lot of tunnelling. So these five were the baseline candles. And as you can see, every single one tunnelled. That one didn't, melt pool didn't get very big on that one at all. So, yeah, no success stories. Eco 12, VRL 18, CD 10, Eco 12, and Eco 12. So, 
Although disappointing, we can rule those wicks out with those wax combinations because they just don't work. Um, these ones are all the ones that had the fragrant soil and the TB16 reached quite a cool melt pool, but I was quite optimistic about it. But it did just dance and smoke and goodness only knows what else. So it went. This was the VRL18, no joy. This was the CD10. And as you can see, that started tunneling as well. These are the four that we are focusing on today because as yet they haven't been tested at all. So, do you like my mug I made, by the way? <laughs> completely random look you are amazing and i happen to have made another one here look at this i put you are my sunshine on it but then i realized that's probably a trademark so i'm gonna have to get rid of that but anyway not bad are they as soon as they're just sitting here he's just a little bit on the cute side but yes so that's the plan for today and that will wrap this video up then five Baselines, no goes, three, well, no, because I'm going to try that one again. Two definite fragrance oil ones, no goes, four to go, one other one to put through a fourth test burn, so six to do today. So let's crack on with that and then see how it goes, and I will report back at the end. So, yeah, wish me luck. The other one that I tested, I found it, it was the baseline with the Eco 12. And yeah, it started to tunnel. Bit disappointing. I might. No, I don't think there's any point. It didn't reach the edge either on the either sides. Nearly reached the edge, but it's definitely tunneling. So I don't think that's going to improve any. Um, but yeah, so there we are. Another one that didn't work. I've got them all dotted around the house now. And like I said, I'll report back. So four hours is up i had to blow the cd10 the one that was on its fourth test burn i had to blow that out pretty quick to be fair well a couple of hours um it wasn't performing well flaming dancing rather dancing flame etc so yeah so that left us with one two three four so i'll show you those quickly here is the cd10 in the eco coco and there we have it we have another tunneler Quite like the flame, but it's tunneling. So that's after four hours. So, yeah, that's not a good one. Here are my other two. We have the LX18, which I was burning for the fourth time. And to be fair, it's like the same thing. It's just not going to reach a full melt pool, which we kind of knew anyway. But, yep, yeah, so. Here we have the TCB30 slash 18 and it's another tunneler. So let's blow that out and we have one left. And here it is. Now, this is an Eco 12. It's in the one with the fragrance oil. It's achieved a pretty much full melt ball, which is exciting. The flames. Doing that. And look at the mushrooms on it. So near and yet still so far. Although everything looks nice about it as far as the melt pool, etc. and so forth goes. It's pretty hot. It's got a large mushroom and this needs to happen. So there we have it. It's pretty much same old story. <laughs> How many candles was that all together? Quite a few. And uh, yeah, no successful candle in amongst the mix. But the good news is we know we can start ruling some wicks out. So that is a little bit of progress for sure. So that's it. That's the results of doing all of those candles that we made over the last month. And yeah, not so disappointing because we do have results of some kind or another. 
Um, so there we are. I think with the next batch, I might try what uh, someone said in the comments, which was to just make the candles and then poke a hole in and put a wick in. Because at least that way, we can reuse the candle by just swapping the wicks. Um, I think I think it's good to do that. I think if we do that, we're saving a lot of wax. And then if we finally crack a candle, then we can retest it as a properly made candle with the wick stuck on the bottom as it normally would be. So I think that's the next step. Um, so yes, sorry I haven't got anything more positive to say. <laughs> but you know, if you've been with me from the start, you'll be used to uh, you'll be used to the results that we get on this channel, and uh, we're not deterred. We will keep going. So thank you for joining me for another burn test and thanks again for all your lovely comments. They're really, really lovely and I like getting them and they're always super useful. And thank you to anyone who has subscribed more recently. It's uh, just, I just love it. I love how the channel has become a little community. So yes, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one as always when we'll be doing something candle related, making candles, talking about candles, thinking about candles. <laughs> it's all about the candles. You take care. All right. Over and out. Bye.